Hi there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to have a look at Livewire Vault, which is um, a single file component uh, thingy for Livewire. Uh, we have two options for that. That's the clause-based components and the API-based components, and we're going to have a look at both of them. So let's dive into it. Okay, so I have a Livewire component right here called counter, which has a blade view with yeah, a count, uh, increment and decrement buttons, and this triggers a function called increment and decrement. Kind of basic, uh, like in the documentation of Livewire itself, you hit the plus button, you hit the minus button, and this works. Now, to add a volt to the mix here, we're going to use warp, um, and we're actually going to use composure, com Composer require um, live wire volt. So volt, like that. And this is going to install volt for us on a composer basis. Um, after that, we need to install volt itself using artisan. So that's what we're going to do right now php artisan um, volt install. There we go. And that actually published the service provider for us and the scaffolding and things like that. Now we're actually going to add another component here. So PHP artisan um, make volt and we're going to call it uh, volt counter like that. And we're going to, well, this is actually going to create an API based um, component for us. And if we hit dash dash clause to that, this will create a clause based component. We're going to start off with this one. There we go. This created a new Livewire Volt counter blade file for us. So let's dive into it and uh, look this one up. This is here. And as you can see the difference here, this is a normal Livewire view. And this is the um, component, uh, clause based component single file. So this uses use Livewire Volt component, new clause extends the component. And basically what we have in our previous um, counter here this we can actually take this and place this here like so and this is actually yeah the PHP part of it and if we want to use the um, blade view part we just copy this one in here so right beneath the closing tag of PHP the blade view starts with not normal counter, but volt, let's call it a volt, uh, clause based uh, component like that. And let's call this one here in our welcome blade. So this is uh, the volt counter like that. And if we run this, there we go, the volt clause based component, this is actually doing quite well, basically the same thing, right? plus and minus and well let's actually create another component that is basically the same one and wait a second without dash dash class and we're going to call it volt counter 2 and this actually created another component for us also in the uh, resource views live wire volt component 2 and let's open this one as well as you can see the difference here, this is actually a API based component, which is using um, use function of uh, livewire vault and the state. And to actually use this state, we can use state. And this is a function which accepts an array like count like this. And let's put it to one like so. And basically the, um, the view part here, so the blade part, is basically the same thing. And I'm just going to copy this in. There we go. And this is the API based component. And we can actually do the same thing with increment and decrement. Increment like that. This is actually a function which, um, well, we're going to use a closure like this and count plus plus and for decrement minus minus decrement like that save that and in our welcome blade we're going to use volt counter 2 save that all right so now we're what we're actually viewing the volt api based component if we hit plus this also works 
So let's take a look at what we did here. So we have the um, API based component, which is, yeah, for people that don't like this style, um, this can be quite confusing to actually read this code. And we also have the um, clause based component styles with which is actually yeah, extending the component clause and writing the same type of functionality like the normal live wire uh, components. Okay, so actually you can, you can use both of them. Um, I would not suggest mixing them throughout your project. I personally like the um, API style um, components, uh, Vault components, because they are quite compact and you can do a lot of cool stuff with them. Actually, you can do the same thing with a normal LiveWire component, but it just, yeah, it, it feels good for me. So I hope you learned something from this and I will see you in one of the next videos. Take care, bye-bye.